What a ride it's been for quarterback Nikosi Perry at the University of Miami. I've hyped this guy up year after year, dating back to 2017. But I think it's time. What's going on, Canes fans? I'm going to be straight up and honest with you right out of the gate. This is an opinion video. This is how I personally feel about this, and it's okay if you disagree. I want to see a lot of engagement for this one down in the comments section. Voice your opinion. Let it be heard. Let's talk it out. But before we dive in, I've been trying to throw a little positivity into your day at the beginning of each of my videos. So what I like to do is read a Bible verse or a couple of Bible verses at the beginning of my videos. And if that's not your thing, just skip the next few seconds of the video. It's not going to hurt my feelings, I promise. So today we're reading from Colossians chapter 3, verse 13. Let me find it here. I, I promise that I'm pre prepared. Uh, Full-time YouTuber and streamer here. Um, <clears throat> Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Let's dive into the juicy stuff. So I'm just going to come out and say it and then give me a few minutes to explain myself. Nikosi Perry should leave the Miami football team and enter the transfer portal. Now before Perry fans jump the gun and attack me down in the comment section, go ahead and tap that backspace button. I actually have Nikosi Perry's best interest in mind. It's tough for me personally to know where to draw the line because of course I want the football team to be in the best position to win games, but I do also actually care about the future of the players. Here, think of it this way. De'Eric King is returning for the 2021 season, but we don't know if he's going to be healed up and ready to go to start against Alabama in game number one. Heck, we don't even know, honestly, with the extent of his injury and the turnaround time after surgery and rehab and all that stuff, if he's going to be ready to go by week two or even week three. So that means the next guy up with the most college-level game time experience is Nikosi Perry. Now he's not guaranteed to win the job if King is out. It's not just gonna be handed to him. He would have to win it, but he is the guy with the most experience. Let's just assume that Perry does win the starting job against Bama because King is still out due to his injury. Because if if we don't, then it would make it even easier to back up my argument. So Perry starts and plays against Alabama week one and App State week two. But then week three rolls around and King is ready to go for Michigan State. I feel like that regardless of the outcome of those first two games with Nikosi Perry starting, if King is ready to go week three, Perry gets put on the bench. This is something that he's had to deal with his entire time at this school. Why return? Why fight during the offseason to win the starting job just to be put back on the bench as soon as De'Eric King is ready to ride? Now, some of you are going to argue that Nikosi Perry doesn't run from competition and that he's very loyal to the University of Miami. And to that I say, both of those statements are absolutely true. I guess what I'm getting at, Canes fans, is I would love to have an experienced guy behind the Eric King for the 2021 season. But I also, honest to goodness, I'm being straight up with you guys, would hate to see Nikosi Perry ride the bench again for yet another season and sit behind someone else. And don't get me wrong, I, I would have the Eric King starting over Nikosi Perry. But I'm just saying I would hate to see him have to be the second man up again ride the bench for another season when he could absolutely be starting at another school. It would be a shame to see his talent go to waste. And no, he's not perfect. Nobody is. And when he's got time to sit back in the pocket and sling it, he's going to send it. And when he's feeling it, he throws a beautiful pass. And don't get me wrong. We can spend all day arguing if Perry has been given a fair shot because he's been put in some pretty crappy situations. Let's just be straight up and honest about it. And we can also talk about the fact that Perry's had plenty of time to take that starting role, win it during the offseason or during the season, and take it, win it, be that number one guy, and he hasn't been able to do it. But at the end of the day, if you can sit all of that stuff aside, Nikosi Perry hitting the transfer portal just makes a lot of sense, whether you like him or not. 
Now, I will add that at the time of filming this video, there are currently 91 quarterbacks in the transfer portal. That thing is absolutely overflowing with players. And out of those 91 quarterbacks, 25 of them are four stars. But even with all that being said, I still think that if Nikosi Perry did hit the portal, that he would land somewhere. And by somewhere, I mean actually somewhere pretty decent. And guys, please don't think of this as a negative post. I just wanted to put my opinion out there, and I want to see what you guys think. I want to see what you guys think about my opinion, and then I want you to give your opinion. Again, basically just summing everything up here in case you've not been paying attention the last five minutes. I think that Nikosi Perry, it would be in his best interest to hit the transfer portal uh, when talking about his future. If he wants to try to play football, if he wants to try to push for the NFL, it makes the most sense because otherwise staying at Miami means he's probably for his entire college career going to be that number two guy. It just is what it is. And I'm still absolutely a big Nikosi Perry fan. And I will be a Nikosi Perry fan still, even if he plays for another school. Now, obviously, then if we played that school, I would have to root for us for the Miami Hurricanes. But I'm just saying that I want these guys to do well. And I'm thinking about his future. The, the man's got a family. He's got a young daughter. Uh, it makes the most sense for him to go shine and go start and get some playtime somewhere if playing in the NFL is something that he even wants to try and pursue. And guys, don't come at me in the comment section. Uh, it's not like Perry is going to watch this video and be like, well, I didn't really think about that. So since Coach Coop mentioned it, I'm going to hit the transfer portal. Nothing crazy like that is going to happen. This is just an opinion video. But it is really tough to say if Nikosi Perry would even consider transferring. A, 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 a big part of me says no, that he wouldn't, because as we already mentioned in the video, he's extremely loyal and he does love this Miami football team. So overall, it's actually probably highly unlikely that it would even happen, but depending on, you know, if he sits down, talks with his family, and like I said, really thinks about his future, uh, maybe the degree at Miami means more and he's not even necessarily worried about trying to pursue the NFL. You know, I, I don't know how he actually feels about that or what he's thinking when it comes to that. Uh, but if he's thinking NFL, I'll say that, it makes much more sense for him to hit the portal. But let me know your opinions down below, down in the comment section, how you feel about it. It's okay if you're not a Perry fan, you can talk about it. It's okay if you are a Perry fan, you can talk about it. If you think my opinion's dumb, if you want to say your opinion's better, that's okay. That's what the comment section is for, so we can discuss it. I'll try to respond to as many comments as possible. This is one of those juicy videos that I wanted to get Canes fans talking about it and just see kind of how everyone feels. Uh, the quarterback room is interesting for us because obviously the Eric King would be QB number one but as we said we don't know when he's going to be ready uh, Tyler Van Dyke is still a big deal the coaches love him but he doesn't have any game time experience the the experience during the offseason would have been limited in 2020 due to COVID plus we have Jake Garcia coming in and a lot of people are saying we know that guy's going to be a freshman but he's going to jump everybody so man it's going to be absolutely a crazy offseason for the Miami Hurricanes especially when it comes to the quarterback room which seems to be the case for us year in and year out we're always we love QBs we love talking quarterbacks so leave your opinions as I said down below uh, remember, though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family. But at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. And Nikosi Perry, I can't speak for everybody, but no matter what you decide to do, man, you might not even be considering this option. We love you either way, bro.